Listen, bases loaded, bottom of the ninth. This video in the background is the first time um, the captain actually gave me control of the steering wheel later. So in the beginning, you're going to see me just um, recording. But this is my first time flying a plane. And I just want to talk about, you know, just keeping the hope alive. You know, sometimes you have good days. Sometimes you have not so good days. You know, and I just want to talk about, you know, always keeping the same energy. Like, I've been wanting to travel now international for four years. So for four years, I had hopes of pulling out the passport. Now, I went to places like the Dominican Republic. I went to places like Vancouver, Canada. But that's in, that's in my backyard. But I just want to talk about keeping a hope for four years. I wanted to, for a year, I wanted to go to Brazil. So I'm finally going to Brazil, but it took me a year. When I say, listen, patience is a virtue, I really mean that because I wanted to go to Brazil like last March, like last February. I've been watching content on Brazil, been just looking up, learning words in Portuguese, and it took me a year to finally arrive to Brazil. You know, you got to ask yourself, are you willing to stay in the fight for a year? International. Four years since I've been international, like to any place like Europe, deep South America. Ask yourself, are you willing to stay in a fight for four years? YouTube. I've been in the YouTube up and down battle. It's been a grind for four years. And I really feel that the fifth year on YouTube is going to explode. Ask yourself, are you willing to stay in a fight for five years? You know, and if, you, and if the answer is yes, listen. Don't panic. I understand. Sometimes things are going to look tight. I understand your bank account is going to get negative. I understand bills are going to pop up. But listen, your job is to remain calm. Your job is to not panic. Your job is to remain strong. You got to trust in the Lord and understand that God has your back no matter what. He's not going to let you fall. It doesn't matter how tight it looks. It doesn't matter how things are looking. Understand that God has your back. And once you understand that, listen, you're always going to have enough. And I'm going to say that again. You're always going to have enough. Listen, in the game of life, because sometimes it feels like a game. Sometimes you're up by 20. Sometimes you're down by 20. But I just want to say, no matter what, you have to understand that you're going to win. I know it's hard. I know. And, and, and this is why it's so important that when you focus, that you don't really tell people your dreams. You don't really tell people what you're doing because your tennis shoes might be leaning. You might not have the best outfit. You know, um, you might not even have money to afford a haircut at the time. But you got to tell yourself that you're going to win, you know, and in the process Listen, take relationships out your mind. I, I, the, the major thing that I see men do is um, get involved with relationships when they're not ready. And we all fell victim to this. Nobody's perfect. But as a man, listen, until you can fully sustain yourself, until you are ready to take care of a family, listen, it's time to grind. Time is passing every day. You got to do something. Listen, back in the day, I used to take breaks on YouTube. This year, I'm not taking breaks on YouTube. I'm going full throttle. Listen, Time is ticking. And I'm not talking about TikTok, but time is ticking. And speaking of TikTok, I'm about to start um, uploading travel content, restaurant content on TikTok. So 2024, expect content dropping on TikTok. But listen, time is flying. And one thing you cannot do is you cannot sit down. You cannot sleep your life away. You cannot sleep a problem away. I understand when you go to sleep, it feels good because listen, you're in a whole different realm. You're not even up. But when you wake up, guess what? Those bills are still the, the bills are still there. The landlord is still knock the landlord is still knocking on your door. It's time to pay rent. So no matter what, you gotta stay focused. And that's the only way that you're gonna win. But victory is what you should have your mindset on. You can't lose. There is no way that you're gonna lose. Trust and believe. If you believe that you're going to win, it's listen, it's all about your belief system. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. It's just that simple. Keep life simple. And understand no matter what, as a man, listen, don't look around at other men. Don't look around at uh, another man who's six, six, ten, seven, one. Focus on yourself. Take care of yourself. And this goes to women as well. Stop looking around what other people are doing because you don't know. The behind the scenes is what's really going on. 
you know, stay focused, stay true to you and understand that God is the father of us all. He loves us all and he wants us all to live an abundant life on an individual base. Like this world, they want us to focus on competition. They want us to be competitive. No, listen, if somebody arrives to the finish line three years before you, it's OK. If you arrive to the finish, that same finish line 10 years later, a decade later, it's OK. At the end of the day, stay focused on what's on your plate. That's what it's all about. Like competition, forget competition. Because when you get strong and you really start to walk and you go to your date with destiny, I'm telling you, nobody's going to be able to talk like you. Nobody's going to be able to move like you. Nobody's going to be able to do what you do. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm on YouTube. Don't even show my face. Listen, subscribe is going up. Listen, uh, listen, I'm going I'm to tell you right now, when it's all said and done, I'm going to have two 100K pages. So for this page right now, um, the, uh, the other page, I'm going to do travel content. But for this page right now, we going hard all the way probably until May, June, straight back to back content. Listen, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. I believe that I can have two 100K pages. I also believe that I could blow up on TikTok. I also believe that I could start live streaming on Kick. And I'm about to put all these things together. And, not, and, and you're probably thinking... How do you know? Easy, because I see myself winning. You got to see the finish line and you also have to see yourself crossing the finish line. And one thing you got to understand, it's not the job of the darker forces to let you win. You got to understand when you on the way to the finish line, it's going to be some obstacles. It's going to be some hurdles. It's going to be some demonetization. Things are going to happen. People are going to lie, but it doesn't matter. If they step in the way, it doesn't even matter if they have crushes. They're going to get ran over. Nobody should get in the way because you are running and you are running with strength. You are running with power. You are running in your focus. At the end of the day, they don't want us to be focused. They want us to talk about what Michael Jack. They want us to talk about, you know, things that happen in the industry. I understand the industry, you know, it's, it's you know, topic of conversation, man. But forget the industry. All these celebrities, they travel. Guess what I do? I travel too. And then you're going to realize when you start making moves, celebrities, the normal people, they don't want you. They want you to see celebrities as lowercase gods. No, at the end of the day, there's only one true God. And I'm going to say that again. There's only one true God. Jay-Z is not a God. He could call himself Hova, but he's not a God. Stay focused on what you have going on and trust and believe that you're going to win. Dark times is a season. It's a storm. Have I been in a dark place? Of course. But guess what? In a dark place, let's say I was still working out. In a dark place, I was still going to the gym. In a dark place, I was still fist pumping, let's go. In a dark place, I was still pump up the volume, pump up the volume. In a dark place, I was still working. In a dark place, I was moving through pain. Listen, a lot of people don't understand, and I don't want to look for sympathy, but two weeks ago, I hurt my hip. I couldn't even walk. You feel me? I got demonetized. I couldn't even walk. Boom. You feel me? It wasn't a dark place because I believe that I'm a win. No matter what, hip hip hurting, I'm a win. You feel me? Demonetization, I'm going to win. Um, people leaving comments, the downfall of Mr. Keep It Simple, I'm off to Brazil, I'm going to win. Nobody can speak on my life and understand that nobody should be able to speak on your life because they can't see the finish line. Always remember, in your mind, only you can see the finish line. Only you know where you're going. And this is why it's so important to not tell people where you're going. Now, I got a travel channel, so I say, yeah, I'm going to Brazil. I got a travel channel, so I say, yeah, I'm going to Thailand. Yeah, I'm going to Bali. But if you don't got a travel channel, don't tell people where you're heading. Because a lot of people, guess what? When they find out, oh, you're going to Switzerland. Oh, you're going to Monaco. Listen, that's where the hate come in. That's where the jealousy come in. And they're going to try to stop you from going across the finish line. Don't let it happen. Listen, 2024, it's time to settle the score. Any fear, anything that you was putting back, no, 2024 is time to attack. We're not playing. The game is wide open for everybody. Man, woman, child, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is understand that God has your back and you're going to win. You have to win. Victory is a must. Losing is not an option. It's not. It, it would never be an option to sit down and say, listen, I give up. That's not an option to hold up a cardboard sign. It's not an option to go to a shelter. It's not an option to start begging. It's not an option to start leeching. It's not an option. These things are not options. It will never happen. And at the end of the day, when people ask you, how did you become successful? Listen, all praises, all praises to the Lord. And after that, you got to tell people that you were willing to fight. Listen, in this generation, hard work 
warriors, very few and far in between. But guess what? This is what the world need to see. The world need to see strength because so many people are giving up. But I just want to say, listen, a nine to five, save lives. Stay focused before you end up homeless. Stack your crumbs, build your pie and understand that you're going to win. You have to win. We're warriors. When we go into the war, we come out or we don't come out at all. And I'm going to say that again. When we go into a war, we come out and we don't come out at all. Listen, I've been in many battles and I'm still here. You know why? Because I came out of that war knowing I was going to come out. When you go into a dark place, when you go into a storm, when you go into a battle, you got to see yourself coming out. You got to see yourself carrying the bull by the horns. At the end of the day, you got to understand when you team up with God, you are unstoppable. No human can stop you. They're going to try to distract you, but that's because they really can't stop you. And I'm going to say that again. They're going to try to distract you, but that's because they can't stop you. And before I finish this video, beautiful city of Sacramento, a.k.a. Mac Town. Um, like I said, man, to me, this is a dream, but it's like, why dream about it when I can live it? Why dream about going to Sacramento when I can actually book a ticket? Why dream about flying a plane when I can actually book a lesson, book some flight hours? Why dream? Forget dreaming. They want us to live in a dream world. They keep telling us, follow your dreams, follow your dreams, forget your dreams. It's all about reality. I'm going to show you more travel videos. Listen, it's turned. This is one of the best experiences ever. And if the opportunity, if the captain give you the opportunity to fly the plane, don't do what I did. I just put it all the way left. But no, keep it straight, you know, and it is what it is. I'll probably make an attempt to do it again. But listen, this right here is what you call, man, just really exploring. I want to see the whole world. I want to see all 50 states. I want to see as many countries as I can. And I'm not stopping. I'm going. It doesn't matter. Loss of income, I'm going. It doesn't matter. Loss of friends, I'm going. It doesn't matter. People not messing with me, I'm going. You feel me? People don't like me, I'm going. You feel me? He doesn't like me, I'm going. She doesn't like me, I'm going. No matter what happens, I'm going. That's how you got to be. You got to be on a go. Listen, time is ticking. Don't sit back and be like, man, shoulda, woulda, coulda. No, we don't do that. I'm not going to say, oh, I shoulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda went to Brazil. No, it's not happening. I'm going to Brazil. We, we, we're taking off like right now. Like it's not a game. You guys have to understand anything you dream about, understand the difference between dreams and a reality. And whatever you dream about, turn it into a reality. If it's not a reality, it's a dream. And if it's a dream, it's nothing more than an illusion. It's not happening. Me flying this plane, that really happened. It's not a dream. Let it breathe.